Sup guys and girls, Giovanni here. So I saw the Raven's Home Season 6 trailer, and for me, it was just fine. It didn't really hype me up like past seasons did, especially Season 5. Disney were really hyping up Season 5. Maybe it's because Season 6 is coming out so fast. Season 5 didn't end not too long ago, but I still look forward to Season 6. So with that, let's move on to the main portion of the video all right then let's raise some hell number 50 this should be the season six color scheme number 49 lock the doors stop having ivy and neil walking into the house all they have to do to fix this is give them keys number 48 revealing tanya's family maiden last name number 47 avery returns number 46 liam returns number 45 more ivy and alice scenes and more ivy and victor scenes ivy looks up to victor and i want to see them bonding more i mean ivy is always around the house cleaning and stuff which slightly disappeared after a few episodes in season five so bring that back as well number 44 newt stackley is revealed to be marvin's twin brother number 43 a new made-up celebrity comes onto the show number 42 a crossover with bunk or at least setting up the crossover for season 7 number 41 allison page join the sunshine girls number 40 giotti den kenzel comes on to the show as neil's older brother number 39 toning down neil's comedy number 38 more serious moments number 37 seeing ivy's dad number 36 mrs chen wins the election number 35 confirming dave married evelyn dog soul's mother and is evelyn dog soul's stepfather that's why he got the doll so fast number 34 see more locations in bayside high school number 33 the hill grill and the chill grill have a face-off number 32 alice gets rid of tasha this season number 31 more eddie references number 30 nikki leaves at the end of season 6 number 29 more cinematography number 28 going back to chicago for an episode number 27 answering what happened between laszlo and and alana number 26 laszlo causes problems in the baxter residence number 25 a halloween episode number 24 cammy's ex ash comes on to the show number 23 answering why alana became the principal when it should have been her being a former military soldier number 22 cammy records alana's reaction when she tells her she is still dating booker number 21 madison pettis returns to the that's a raven universe as sophie who is the president of the united states number 20 did victor get fired or did he quit the white house number 19 seeing alice and the other kids at kjt number 18 seeing alice in a karate dojo since she's in a karate class number 17 more neil backstory does he have beef with his mother plus revealing his last name number 16 answering how alice became so smart number 15 alice's dad shows up number 14 a christmas episode number 13 devon tess levi and nia return tess is happening nia talks about how she has gotten better at protecting the environment hint hint gotham knights number 12 chelsea returns number 11 raven has the most visions this season number 10 more vision faces inconvenient times booker and raven having a vision to the same moment and team up visions now what i mean by this and that's so raven when raven had a vision it wouldn't be the same blank emotionless face it would be different like how she was chewing bubble gum on top of that the way the camera would move in like how she turned to the camera i have noticed in raven's home they have all been the same as for the inconvenient times that one is easy to understand like show booker having a vision in the middle of running in gym class the last I can recall an inconvenient time a vision happened was during the bunk crossover with Raven. Think of season 5 episode 13 for Booker and Raven having a vision to the same moment and think of season 2 episode 1 for the team up visions. Number 9. Answering questions about the visions and seeing Booker and or Raven developing their powers. Imagine them being able to do a vision or command. What is Raven's mom side of the family? Wizards? Witches? Demons? 
I don't know. Number eight, Donna Cabana getting her revenge on Raven. Number seven, flashback to Raven's second vision and or seeing the young, that's a Raven characters again. Number six, Tanya remains on the show. Number five, the that's a Raven theme song replaces the Raven's home theme song. Number four, Alice reveals she knew about Booker and Raven's visions. In my pitch, I said this during the season six Halloween episode. Number three, a season six cliffhanger that sets up season seven, which should be Booker graduating. Number two, more classic, original, that's a Raven characters returning, along with Easter eggs too. And number one is finishing the story arc of Victor becoming healthy. Now everything before number one was not in order. Number one is the only thing that is in order because this is something I said in the season five finale review. I need this to be picked back up and if it doesn't I got something to say about this in my season six episodes one and two review. But with that being said let me know what y'all think about this list and what do y'all want in season six. So with that being said get your fingers up and fuck <laughs> with a lady, niggas. Bye.